Hey, good morning. Hey, first of all, I just wanted to stop it and take a moment to thank everyone for their words of encouragement, uh, their texts, the calls, everybody that has just kind of gathered around me and um, um, really showed me a bunch of love and support around this video series. I thank you. I, I love you. I am humbled. I am grateful. I am all the things. Um, and, and I appreciate everything that you guys are doing to help keep me propelled, uh, keep me moving forward and not walking away from this thing because sometimes I have a tendency to um, be all enthusiastic and all in about things and then quickly it fizzles. So this is something um, that I know that uh, God has put on my heart to do. And so I cannot lose that momentum and your love and your support is definitely lifting and supporting me. Um, one of the things that I decided to do was start a, what are you going to do about it Wednesday, like little motivational thing or whatever. And so this week is the first week that I'm doing that. This week, um, I almost had a little bit of PTSD. Um, an event happened this week um, to a colleague um, that I respect a great deal. Um, and, you know, my, my heart just goes out to her. She knows who she is. Um, you're talented, you're gifted, you're wonderful, and you are loved and you're appreciated. Um, and, I, and I want you to know that. Um, but the event brought me back to something that happened to me a few years ago, right? Um, I am a career changer. And uh, over a decade ago, I decided that I wanted to enter the world of communications. And so um, if you know me, you know I'm I'm like, if I'm going to do something, I got to do it. I have to learn it. I have to breathe it, live it, all of those things. And so, um, you know, so I decided to pursue this career by going back to graduate school and, and all those things. So one of the things that I knew when I entered this world is that I did not want to be in PR. I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. Um, it's just not something I wanted to do. I'm a storyteller. I am, you know, I'm better in front of the camera. Um, I'm a comms person. That's what I am. Um, I, I like to uplift people. Um, and so I do that often through my writing. Um, and so I knew I wanted to go into, uh, you know, community relations or the internal comms space or the employee comms space, um, which I am doing right now. But um, early on in my career, I was recruited by this organization. They came to me and they wanted me to come help them start their PR thing. Um, and I was like, eh, no, I'm good. That's really not who I am. It's not what I want to do. I, I can do it. I've done it and I am good at it, but that's not my bag. It's not my gift. It's not what I want to do. Um, so I turned them down. I needed a job though. Um, and they came back. And one of the things that I struggle with, um, let's be very honest. All of us are, you know, kind of grown adults, <laughs> uh, grown children, so to speak, uh, uh, so, you know, with that, with us all being grown children, there are a lot of traumas, a lot of experiences that you bring from your childhood into who you are as an adult. One of, uh, one, I guess, result of the trauma that I experienced as a child is uh, something I didn't know and didn't re recognize until 40s, <laughs> is that I, um, because there was a lot of rejection um, in my life as a kid, subconsciously, I'm always looking for this, this need to be needed or, um, you know, or uh, as it was with this company, if someone comes to you and they want you, why would you turn them down? Especially when you've had these experiences when other people did not want you, where they denied you. So subconsciously it was in my mind, I can't turn down um, opportunities. Again, it is a lesson that I'm learning now, finally, well into my 40s, that, you know, everything that's presented to you isn't for you. And sometimes you need to walk away from that. So getting back to this, um, I took the role knowing that it was not for me, uh, that I did not want it but they wanted me, how could I say no? Um, so I took the job and while I was there, you know, in the first month I got awards, um, I was recognized and uh, thought I was doing well. Um, so I went in at Christmas Eve uh, and 
one of my closest colleagues was acting a little different towards me. I knew something was off. A couple of uh, minutes later, after I arrived into the office, I was called into the HR office and I was then told that I would be losing my role, um, that my job would be eliminated. So it's pretty much, thank you for your service. Get out the door. Um, I was devastated. I cried. I was disappointed. You know, all the emotions that come with, number one, with losing your source of income, with losing a job. But then also, number two, I thought they wanted me, you know? I thought someone loved me. I thought they wanted me. They said all the right things. Um, you know, they convinced me to come, but obviously they did not. Um, but what happened? I had a, what are you gonna do about it moment? Um, I picked myself up. I refocused. I said, you know what? This was not what I wanted to do anyway. This is not my gift. This is not my passion. This is not what I believe God has put me on this earth to do. Um, and so I started contracting. I started taking courses, uh, going to webinars, conferences, whatever I could do to help put me in that space uh, of comms that I wanted to be in. Um, so today's uh, uh, What Are You Going to Do About It Wednesday? again, is just about staying true to yourself, um, staying true to your God-given talents, recognizing that, you know, everything that you need, God has already put in you, doesn't mean that you don't need to do the work to get better um, and to perfect your craft, but everything that you need is already in you. And it is up to us to hone those skills and walk in that thing. Um, and also it's important to recognize, um, you know, get into therapy, do whatever you need to do, um, to recognize when it is your trauma that you are acting out of, you know, it's your trauma that's leading your decisions versus your spirit, your mind, your soul, and being led by God. For me, that's God. For you, it may be the universe or something else, whatever is your bag whatever that is, whatever your thing is, um, go with that. But it's important to listen to that inner voice because that inner voice is God, you know, and stay true to what it is you know that you've been put on this earth to do. Um, do everything you need to do to nurture that um, and just walk forth in that. So yeah, that that's today's What Are You Gonna Do About It Wednesday. Um, I, there was some Transparency Tuesday mixed in there too. Um, but anyway, that's what we have today. Um, thank you guys again for your support. Thank you for listening. Um, thank you for everything. I, I hope to be releasing a date soon. Um, I have some phenomenal people coming on to talk to you about some of the things that um, they've gone through and they've survived. And I'm so thankful to them. Um, so I, I hope this is going to help somebody. I hope it's going to be a good series. I can't wait to share it with you. All right, you guys have a Merry Christmas, okay? All right, bye.